Oh, oh God! <laughs> Hello, people of the internet world. Welcome. Today I have probably the craziest car I have reviewed to date. It is a 2023 Lucid Air Grand Touring Performance. This thing has over a thousand horsepower and do zero to 60 in two and a half seconds. And today I'm gonna get it up in the air. We're gonna nerd out the tech specs, see how this thing is constructed, and then go give it some beans. So flat. I feel like I'm looking at the bottom of a boat hull. It's just so flat and smooth. And look at all these little jetties. This one's like the cross section of an aircraft wing. That lower link looks a lot like the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. That's so big. You can tell it's special by the way it has its own label. Starting in the rear, the Lucid Air Grand Touring Performance utilizes an integral link multi link rear suspension. That's cute. A little leveling mechanism for the headlights. As far as the rear anti-sway bar goes, I don't know if it's possible to measure it. It's really up, it's kind of hidden and tucked up in there. Oh man. This is all the access I have to be able to get to the rear anti-sway bar. I don't know how accurate this is gonna be. It's a 24 plus or minus three millimeter rear anti-sway bar. It's paired with a set of adaptive Bilstein dampers, as you can see up there on the side of the label, a little Bilstein logo. They did an excellent job at making this car easy to jack up, giving this large rubber pad right here. Amazing enough as it is, the Grand Touring Performance model isn't even the top fastest or longest range that they offer. This one comes with a 118 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack, and with its dual motors, weighs in at 5,236 pounds. I don't know if this thing's going to make any sounds, but I'm going to try. Do you actually make any noises? Well, those are its noises. You're welcome. It almost looks like carbon fiber. It looks a lot like carbon fiber. You can see right here, it's like a half inch. I don't know, that is like maybe 15 millimeter. All along the side of the car where the pinch weld would traditionally be on a normal vehicle, it has this massive beefy aluminum structure. Typically at this juncture in the video, I'd be discussing what type of transmission is available with this vehicle, but because it's a giant RC car, it doesn't have one in conventional terms. It has an integrated drive module that contains the electric motor, the reduction gear, the power inverter, and the differential all in one giant housing. And because it's all wheel drive, that means there's two of them, one in the front, one in the rear. It also has torque vectoring capabilities, which means it can send the power left, right, front, rear, wherever it wants, whenever it wants, all the time, some of the time. 60% of the time, every time. Sex Panther. What? Up front, you have an all aluminum, I think forged too. It looks like everything up here is forged aluminum. Five link suspension setup. You can see that Bilstein adaptive damper and a coilover setup. And look at the size of the ball joints on this thing. These have to be at least 24 millimeter nuts on here. Aha! I can measure the front anti sway bar because it's right here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a Big boy. 32 millimeter in diameter. Up front, there's a massive aluminum like subframe almost that goes across the center. It's super durable. Jeez. This looks like some of these journalists never driven a lowered car before. Look at all those scrapes. At least it's durable. Like I said, it's a big boat. Time for the braking test. No one behind me but a sunshade. Ready? Oh, wow, oh, that took all the air out of my lungs. The brakes in this thing are mental. This car is, this is like getting an incentive flight in a fighter jet. That braking was just made possible thanks to a rather impressive set of six piston monoblock Akebono calipers. They have a really pretty champagne finish on there with the Lucid logo. Paired with a 380 millimeter or 15 inch front rotor. The wheels, they are a 21 by eight and a half with a positive 37 millimeter offset. They're wrapped in a set of two 45, 35, 21 inch Pirelli P0 tires. 
Out back, there is another rather impressive four-piston monoblock Akebono caliper with a 376 millimeter or 14.8 inch rotor. And the wheel gets slightly wider at 21 by nine and a half inches with a plus 49 millimeter offset. The tire, it is a 265 35 21 inch Pirelli P0. In the name of science, I am now going to give this thing the beans. Full steering assessment. Ow. <laughs> there is a little bit of bolstering, but that was a little bit dramatic. These seats, they're black in the front, white in the back. But get this, not only are these seats heat-elated and ventilated, as well as the steering wheel is heat-elated, they are massaging. Both driver and passenger have them. There's rolling, unwind, wave, stretch, deep. I believe this one vibrates. I'll turn that on. Listen to that. That is so intense. As far as drive modes go, in this little tablet in the center, which you can press this arrow, it'll make it go up into the dash and disappear, which leaves room for a massive storage cubby. Whoa, it's got a bear on it. And down comes your tablet. There's also a little rolly dial right here you can adjust the volume with, as well as your fan and your temperature for your climate control. As far as drive modes go, I have smooth, swift, and oh, it's got uh, Joshua trees in the background because this thing is made in Arizona. That's why. And then Sprint. And Sprint asks you to uh, confirm that you're that insane to use this. It is recommended to be used only by skilled advanced drivers under suitable driving conditions with Lucid Specification summer tires installed. That's not a joke either. This thing will run a 9.9 in the quarter mile in 2.6 seconds, zero to 60 you do have to have some skill to drive this. And then there are options for lucid stability control. You can customize that however you want. With that said, let's see what this thing can do. Foot to the brake, gas, go. Oh Jesus, ouch. Oh my God, that's good. Oh my, that hurt. It hurt my head and it hurt my chest. The launch is crazy. Oh, there goes my glasses. The hood popper is a button. Whoa, that's crazy. That is a gorgeous under hood. Yeah, you know, Lucid knows what's up. Some companies can't even paint under here. Ah, they are functional. That's sweet. The vent is right above the headlight. Are you kidding me? It's even vacuum into little patterns in here. Oh, this is so nice. What's under there? Another compartment, also carpeted, not vacuumed into a pattern though. Can you imagine sitting here when someone does a zero to 60 run? Your ass would go through your head on the windshield. I heard that's what happens to bugs. Oh, this is that rich folk carpet. This stuff is thick. Well, how satisfying is that? Notice the wiper reservoir has a black cap to match instead of blue. That's just classy. The electrical book can be cut by firefighters inside that compartment. Good to know. I don't know if I'd use a pair of pliers though. Underneath the hood of this 2023 Lucid Air Grand Touring Performance is one of two permanent magnet active core synchronous motors. Now, each motor is capable of producing up to 650 horsepower and a whopping 2,950 pound-feet of torque at zero RPM. Now that's before the gear reduction, but still, out of something that is small enough to fit in a carry-on bag of a plane, the entire integrated drive module, including the gearbox and the power inverter, only weighs 163 pounds. That's mental that is mind-blowing now the total system output of this vehicle after the gear reduction through the gearbox magic stuff is a thousand and fifty horsepower and a thousand and twenty five pound-feet of torque at zero rpm that's and this is even the fastest one they have one of three motors that's over 1200 horsepower Digging in a little bit deeper into something that you can't actually see, as much as I'd love to tear this car apart, I don't wanna make the Lucid people upset because I would love to drive another one of their vehicles at some point in time. <laughs> so uh, the electric motor, it is capable of spinning up to 20,000 RPM, which is quite a bit faster, I believe, than some of its electric competitors. And the power inverter, hello, the lights just turned on. 
maybe it was happy because I was telling you about it. The power inverter, it is a silica carbide MOSFET system that is 900 volts. This is a 900 volt EV. It's rather impressive. I'll get to the charging bits in a moment. Why did the lights just turn on at me? How do I close this thing? I just rub it. I feel like a uh, button, button. Push the button. Do, 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 do. Oh, wrong button. Oh, there you go. Check this out. This is how the rear hatch opens. This is amazing. The whole back of the car goes up with it. There's even little taillights that illuminate inside the jam. That is so wild. This is a pretty good size hatch too. I know the number one question most people are gonna ask because I've already been asked it multiple times is how does this compare against a Tesla? I've never officially reviewed a Tesla because they don't offer their vehicles for review, at least not to me. Uh, I have driven one before and I will say the fit and finish and the quality on the interior and exterior of this car is high. And obviously for the price point, it should be. This is an expensive car. The windshield in this thing is one giant continuous piece of glass that goes into your roof, which means your sun visors just float in this giant pane of glass. The whole thing, it's all glass. It's super dark tinted too, so you don't have to worry about your scalp getting burnt. There's lots of unique materials all throughout the interior, like this denim over here on the side, plus all the suede. It's absolute luxurious and gorgeous interior. This little center console, that's a real piece of wood right there. Oh, hey, there's a wireless charge pad inside there. Hey, there's another one of those bears. They're everywhere. White carpets, luxurious, look great, hard to keep clean. Not only are the seats full massage, which I am going to engage right now. Yes, start massage. And also you can fully adjust every aspect of this seat. So how the bolstering wasn't the greatest when I did the acceleration test. So I select this back rest with and it highlights the bolster right there. Oh, it's crazy. You can actually see the seat move. It moves a ton. Holy crap. Extend. That's sweet. Okay. There we go. That's snug. Now I can do some performance driving. Whoa, I have my own screen. Touch screen. There's a menu with a touch screen in it and it just made the shade go down. That is so wild. And these seats are heat elated. Oh, hey, at least the middle seat has heat. That's kind of cool. Well, pass through for your skis. Everything is so nice. The build quality is great in this thing. The fact that this car is this fast and that it can do it over and over and over again. Like it's one thing to have a car that will run a 10 or a nine second quarter mile. That's super impressive. But to be able to do it just nonstop, constant and not break, that is impressive. Not only is the straight line performance impressive, but the fact that they can make a 5,300 pound sedan handle this well, also equally an impressive. Jeez, it is so, it just wants to turn in like that. Like I just barely touched the steering wheel and I was like, yep, let's do this. It's very uh, precise and crisp is the way I can describe the handling feedback. I, I would love to see them make a sports car. And of course it has the braking to match. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> when I reviewed the Mercedes EQS 500, I thought the acceleration and braking would make you throw up in that thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> this is stupid. It's like getting an incentive flight in a fighter jet driving in this car. Now, I'm going to switch into the smooth mode. I had it in sprint because I'm psychotic. Do we notice anything suspension wise? It's hard to tell. If I do, it's subtle. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. I, it's really hard to tell. It's not a big difference in the feeling of the handling between the different modes. This is such a comfy car though. It just soaks up big bumps and you don't feel any of the little tiny imperfections. That paired with the massage going on right now. Oh. Out of all the electric cars I reviewed, I think this is for the first time, the first EV I can say is definitely a road trip car because the range is so impressive in this thing. Now, if you don't get the performance package, it has over 500 miles of range. That is crazy. This one has 446 miles of range, 
with the performance package. You can do up to a 300 kilowatt DC charge on it, and you can charge up to 200 miles of range in only 12 minutes. Now it's different depending on what package of the Lucid Air you get. Now in case you're one of those people that wants robots to drive for you, it has what's called Dream Drive. It utilizes 32 different sensors as well as LiDAR to see the road and do robot things. Not only do you have a 360 degree camera with excellent resolution, it also tells you in inches how close you are from an object. So it's showing 17 inches right now. The only downsides I've seen with this thing so far since I've had it is the key is a little card that you keep with you. It does have a physical button on it, but it's not necessary to press that button. It just knows when you're coming to the car and it unlocks it for you. And it's fairly smart. I'll have to say it does a good job of knowing when you're coming to the car and when you're leaving the car for shutting everything off and locking the doors. And that's the weird part about it. You don't hit a start or stop button. You just literally get out and walk away from your car or come to it and hop in and go. It's neat but that's confusing to me. Also comparing this against some of its luxury electric rivals, the thing I love about this Lucid is the fact that it is distinctly and unique Lucid because this is an American car company. This car is manufactured in Casa Grande, Arizona, which is about 45 minutes from Tucson. So I love that about this thing. And it doesn't share any other components like switches and dials and buttons with any other vehicle I've ever seen before. So it makes it feel very distinct and different and unique. Best way to summarize a Lucid Air is if you want an American made EV with an actual realistic range that will mop the floor with 99% of performance cars out there on the market and be luxurious and comfortable in the process, right here, all day. Time to give this thing some scores. First is the bean score. It's the assessment to the feeling you get in your gut when you give it the beans. And this Lucid Air Grand Touring Performance gets a rating of, I can only imagine what the Sapphire must be like. Next is Cookie Score, the assessment of what you get for what you spend. And the Grand Touring Performance model at just over 180 grand gets a rating of, next is the Wrench Score, the assessment of difficulty to work on. And this gets a rating of, followed by a Squid Score, it's the handling assessment. And the Grand Touring Performance gets a rating of, Lastly is the Penguin score, the assessment of how much I personally like a vehicle. And this thing, it's getting a rating of. One thing I will say is they do have an SUV on the way, but if you're gonna make another vehicle Lucid, I would love to see you do a hot hatch. I know luxury is your thing, but please do a hot hatch, an EV hot hatch, you'd kill it in the hot hatch game. Okay, bye.